Hey guys, YouTube has been bugging up recently and not putting content creators videos in your sub boxes. I recommend doing this for all your favorite YouTubers, not just me. So if you support me and my channel, click the bell on my homepage. That'll send you to the send me all notifications for this channel. Click save, which will notify you every single time I upload. It really does help me out a bunch. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Hey guys. My name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 Manchester United career mode. This is season two, episode three. In today's episode, we have two matches against two London sides. Tottenham Hotspur up first at home at Old Trafford. And then we have a match against Arsenal. Two big matches that we need to pick up the three points. Now, I just want to say this as a disclaimer, guys. Um, I did actually have to reload the save. After my last session, I didn't realize I saved. So, everything before the transfer window didn't happen. So, what I just had to quickly do was redo it, which is fine. We still do have Gareth Bale. We still picked him up for 40 million par, uh, plus uh, Mkhitaryan. But there might be some discrepancies in the career mode, such as some players may or may not have gone out on loan. Also, Morgan Schneiderlin wasn't sold to Bayern Munich in the end because we didn't get that offer through. We still got the offer for Daily Blind, and uh, to, he's gone to Everton the same. But uh, this is sort of like a reverse. This is a different timeline. But the main thing is we still picked up Gareth Bale for 40 million. A couple of players didn't go out on loan and didn't get sold. Daily Blind did. Uh, Schneiderlin didn't. As simple as that. So, guys, if you still are enjoying this FIFA 17 Manchester United crew mode and want to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. So, let's get into the match against Tottenham Hotspur. We're currently sitting in second. West Brom are leading the pack. Um, Ibrahimovic is the second top goal scorer of the Premier League. Uh, Leicester, City, Leicester City's Okazaki is leading the pack. So, we're going to be playing our 3-5-2 formation. Zlatan Ibrahimovic leading the line. Graysman on the left, uh, the right striker position. Zlatan on, on the left. Gareth Bale is going to be my cam. He's going to be creating the plays, more so as a centre-forward role. He's sort of a winger in real life that starts on the right and then drifts in centrally, and he really can play as a striker. Um, one thief he actually could play as a striker. Mares um, going to be my right midfielder. Uh, Ronaldo on the left, Royce and Pogba. Pogba's going to be my central midfielder who can track back and be my defensive midfielder if he needs to, but he's got so many great great qualities pushing forward. Um, I think he really can help in that department. Marco Royce can actually play as a cam in this, but he's going to be playing as my central midfielder and pushing up. Uh, Chris Smalling is going to be my key centre-back, the captain of the club, holding my defence together with Luke Shaw on the left, Eric Bailly and David De Gea. We have Rashford who's going to cut. He's 84 rated, Marcus Rashford, the teenager. He is just insane. Uh, Anthony Martial's 85 rated and recently signed Renato uh, recently signed Renato Sanchez, the Portuguese man. We probably will bring him on for Marco Royce a lot uh, in this series if we need another central midfielder. And uh, Herrera, we've got Adler, we've got Klein, we've got Axel Witzel. A lot of other quality players that I would like to give appearances to later on in the series. So let's get stuck into the first match of today's episode against Tottenham Hotspur. Let's give Pochettino a bashing, hopefully. Okay, guys, welcome to match day, we're versing Tottenham Hotspur. Gareth Bale is going to be facing his former side on his debut. And I, I am curious to see who Pochettino is going to be fielding in today's episode. A lot of quality players for Tottenham Hotspur in Season 2. Let's see if they can um, strengthen and maybe push on for a title challenge. Ronaldo in the Manchester United, the FIFA 17 kit. Graysman and Zlatan Ibrahimovic stepping up. So, Spurs are playing a 4-2-3-1, okay? Harry Kane leading the line. Deli Alley just behind. Hyung Min Sun on the left. I'm a huge fan of him. McCarthy and Medill in the midfield. No one Yama and no Eric Dyer. okay? They've got Lamella, Walker, Rose, Vertonghen, Loris, and Vezo. I don't know who that is, but... Uh, an okay defense. They probably could have someone a little bit better in that defensive midfield position. Maybe um, not defensive, our uh, central defensive position. Uh, Toby Alderweireld. I think that's how you say his name. I'm surprised he's not playing. But let's get stuck into Tottenham Hotspur. Ronaldo on the ball. Sees the run of Zlatan. Oh my God! How has Zlatan gotten to that? Just hit it, Graysman. Try and push a corner. 
We got closed down really well there. From the corner kick, Riyad Mahrez finds Marco Royce, who breaks away from Hyung Min Sun. At the back post, Bale! Oh my god, Gareth Bale facing his former side. The Welshman with the man bun nearly makes it 1-0 against Tottenham Hotspur. Graysman has just put an amazing ball into Gareth Bale. Oh, in that was close. That was really, really close. Nearly converts that Gareth Bale. Puts it on a plate and goes straight to Loris. Just clipped him on the elbow by the looks of it. Mares is going to call up Royce with the scoop turn. Whip it in now, Royce. Eric B. It wasn't to be. Graysman has just found Gareth Bale. Is this it? Oh. Again, Loris is just on fire. Does Harry Kane just pick up a yellow? Well, for I'm curious to see as well how the 3-5-2 formation goes in the Premier League. Harry Kane, what did you do, my friend? Oh, you can't be doing that on Chris Small and get out of here, Harry Kane. We'll see you in a couple of seasons, though. <laughs> okay, guys, it is currently halftime at Old Trafford. We have been dominating Tottenham Hotspur. Six shots, three on target to their shot, one on target. Um, I'm just sort of looking at the players' fitness. No, I don't think it's time to bring in a substitution, but we, are, we, we need to convert our chances. We've had the fair share of them. I'm sure we can go on and win this match in the second half. Spurs look um, like they're withering. Gareth Bale. Puts a great ball into Zlatan. Zlatan's got Graysman. Uh, he probably should have gone for the shot himself there. Right, it's time to make some substitutions. I'm going to bring off Royce. I'm going to bring on Sanchez. I'm tempted to bring on Martial for Ibra. And I'm going to chuck Ronaldo up front with Graysman and Bale, I think. Um, obviously, Ibrahimovic is 36 this year. And he is getting a little bit past it, so he... Actually, can you just, like, get it to Martial? Yeah, that, do that. Pogba. Oh, Paul Pogba. Very, very close there. Rose to the occasion. Applied the header. I actually called... That's actually a bad header. <laughs> that's really bad. I asked for um, a player to come up, but no one did. Graysman has just put an amazing ball into Sanchez. The Portuguese man... Breaking away. Hit it! See if Ronaldo can convert this one. And he does. He's broken the deadlock with a great attempt from Sanchez. We're 1-0 up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well deserved. Mares, Bale, Pogba and Ronaldo celebrating. It was a really good attempt from Renato Sanchez, the teenager. Or has he just turned 20? <laughs> anyway, the youngster. Hit it, tried to hit it across the face. Falls to... His fellow countryman and Ronaldo gets the curve in. We've finally broken the deadlock and Ronaldo's put another sensational goal past for Manchester United. Pochettino <laughs> looks furious, but hey, it was coming. We were pressing and harrowing and Ronaldo scores his first goal of the Premier League. It's going to be Ronaldo and Rashford. Marcus Rashford gets played. Can Ronaldo get it back? He does. Ronaldo to claim his second. Courtois, man. No, not Courtois. Loris is just dominating this match. Like, that's a great save against Ronaldo. Not many people can do that. He must be very high, highly rated in Season 2 now. Because he saved so many shots. Pogba's going to get to the edge of the box. But it's going to go straight to uh, Loris. Okay, guys, the full-time whistle has blown. We have had a 1-0 victory over Tottenham Hotspur. We had 10 shots to 6. We 100% deserved to win that match, even if it was only by 1-0. Spurs had 4 shots to 2. How many saves? Loris had 7 saves in the end. Crikey. Ronaldo picked up the man of the match with a goal. And Sanchez with the assist. Sanchez played so well when he brought him off the bench. But let's get into the second match of today's episode against the Gunners. Let's face Arsenal. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the second match of today's episode against Arsenal. We're going down to London to face the Gunners. We're currently leading the Premier League, followed by Manchester City, Everton, Millsborough, Tottenham Hotspur and West Brom. Okazaki is still the top goalscorer of the Premier League. Zlatan is currently sitting in fifth. 
Kozola and Koscielny uh, will be facing their former club here today if they're going to be fielded, but I, I don't think I will. Still going to play the 3-5-2 that faced Tottenham. However, I, I just prefer having uh, the option of Herrera because I want to bring on probably Rashford, Martial and Sanchez if we're losing or need to push forward and try and claim the three points. I've got Axel Witzel and Nathaniel Klein. I could bring on Santi Cazorla, but I've got um, a lot of these players. I signed a lot of them to make a profit um, and maybe loan them out if they were younger. But yeah, I just I don't I don't need Kashani. I'm hopefully going to try and sell him in January. There's no point of fielding him against Arsenal here today. I'm quite comfortable with my back three. So we can go with the white or we can go with the blue. I think we'll go with the blue. So it is currently a cloudy day at the Emirates. Let's see who Arsene Wenger is uh, fielding in his starting eleven. Welcome to match day, guys, against Arsenal. Jesus, Mercer Saka. I want to see your face bank smack against me. But they are fielding Mertesacker, which is a huge mistake in FIFA 17 career mode. We can definitely expose that. I have a lot in the past. So this is a very poor side that Arsenal are fielding just to, by the look of this. They're playing a 4-3-3. Danny Welbeck leading the line. Um, they're not playing Sanchez up front, which I probably would do. No Giroud. Also no Perez. They're playing Toro. I don't know who that is, but he's not good. Uh, Sanchez on the left, Coquelin, El Nenny, Joel Campbell. Now they're not playing Xhaka. They're not play they are playing El Nene. They could be playing someone better in that defensive midfield position. No Urzil as well. No Ramsey. They're playing Campbell. They've got Piera as their right back. They've got Peter Chicken goal, Monreal as the left back. No Hector Bellerin. Um Laporte Mer Mertesacker. This is a very poor Arsenal side. Hopefully. I don't have not jinxed myself, touch wood, after I said that. We should be able to expose them uh, quite easily in this match. We're fielding a 10 times better squad. This is not the same Arsenal. That was at the start of FIFA 17 career mode. It has, it has incredibly degraded. There's no way at the start of FIFA 17 that Arsene Wenger would be fielding this type of Arsenal side. Ricardo on the ball. Arsenal have a corner kick. Alexis Sanchez bombs it in. Oh my god, that's actually a pretty decent header from Toro. I was talking shit of him at the start of the match. But David De Gea has just got a sensational hand onto that. Check this out. Wow, very good stop from David De Gea. I want to push another player up to get a counter-attack if we manage to get it. What a venomous ball there. But it's actually going to fall to Graysman. And we need to press this counter-attack. Coquelin tracking back against Graysman. Graysman. Finds Ibrahimovic. Ronaldo's on the ball. Whipping and weaving. Ronaldo gets the shot off at Peter Cech. Okay. It is currently half time away at the Emirates. We currently had one shot on... Yeah, one shot and then one on target. Arsenal have had three to two. They've just been dominating me in the possession. We've been getting the tackles in five to one. But 65% of the possession to... Al 35. They really have just been passing the ball around, not really pressing overly that much. They had a couple of corner kicks, but it's very tight here today. Ronaldo on the ball. He's got a couple of United players in there. If you can just find Zlatan. Ugh. Okay, guys, it's time to make some substitutions. We need to change up this game. Let's bring on... Hmm. Let's bring on Sanchez for Royce. Let's bring on... Martial for Ibrahimovic, I think. Or maybe we should just bring off Ronaldo as well. No, no, he should be alright. So, let's chuck Ronaldo up as my striker. Actually, Marcus Rashford scored an absolute screamer against Arsenal not too long ago. Yeah, let's bring on Rashford for Griezmann. We, we're struggling to score up front at the moment. Okay, guys, the full-time whistle has blown, and that was just such a shit match. It was so boring. Arsenal played for the draw. Don't know why, but they just passed it around non-stop. They did have six shots to three on target, apparently, which I think is ridiculous. I dominated that match when I had my chances up front. That's a joke that I only had one shot to one, but Arsenal played for the draw. They didn't really push in the second half. They were playing possession football from the get-go, so we've shared the points with them. They went for the draw, and we couldn't break them down, which is a pain in the ass. They basically just kept the ball off us, and, uh, yeah, 
Laporte picked up the man of the match with a, with a 7.9. What was my closest player? Ronaldo. No, De Gea with a... Yeah. Regardless, guys, after that sour note, we managed to win 1-0 over Spurs. I wanted to score a lot of goals in today's episode, but I am learning the three at the back formation still, adjusting to the Premier League. But thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Go and check out my other FIFA 17 career modes if you haven't already. Um, my Manchester United, of course. Uh, my Real Madrid and my Newcastle United. So thanks for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Riyad Mahrez with another scoop turn. He's absolutely terrorizing this right-hand side. <gasps> Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba has just pulled a bicycle kick out of the bag.